to another fantastic video. Today we're going to be looking at the four main vocabulary terms that I really want you to know in this unit. We're going to be talking about the census, reapportionment, redistricting, and gerrymandering. So in your notes, you have two sections. The first section says definition, and the second section says example or application, okay? I need you to definitely get the definition down, and then in class, we're going to go through example and application, okay? All right, so starting off with the census. This takes place every 10 years, and it is a population count, okay? It takes place every 10 years, and it's a count of the population. We're just trying to figure out how many people live not only in the United States, but how many people live in each state, and then how many people live in each area in each state. That's going to help us with figuring out how many representatives each state gets. So next, we move on to reapportionment. And reapportionment is the redistribution of representatives after the census, okay? So the census tells us how many people live in each state. After we get that information, then we redistribute all 435 of the representatives based on the population of each state. So if your state has a huge jump in population, you might get more representatives based on reapportionment. If your state doesn't increase as dramatically in population, then you might even lose a representative, okay? Moving on then to redistricting. Redistricting is a process of redrawing district lines, okay? So this is based on reapportionment, but it's also based on population changes. And we'll look at a few examples of that in class. And the last one is gerrymandering. And gerrymandering, we know from our vocabulary, is the redrawing of district lines to benefit a political party, okay? So this happens all the time. It doesn't matter which party is in charge of the state, but the goal of gerrymandering is to benefit a specific political party. So if it's um, a group of people who tend to vote Republican, then maybe you try to group them together. It's a, if it's a group of people that tend to vote democratically, maybe you try to group them together. It just depends on the goal of, um, of that state. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. If you have any questions, let me know.